Okay, so what I wanted to show you today is probably going to be more of a demo than a tutorial, but, uh, but nevertheless, I think it's a pretty cool one, and hopefully you can use some of these techniques uh, in your own projects. So what we have here is this animated ingredients shot. And what I want to show you today is how to use our animated packaging mockups to create the simple but uh, convincing animation that can be used to show the ingredients that make up a certain product. Now, I've prepared two variations of this shot, so to start with, let's take a quick look through them. First is this HD shot. And if we take it from the top, we can see that at the very start here, we have a whole bunch of ingredients uh, as well as a, as a title over here. And then a few moments later, they all swirl into the center like this. And then from it emerges our product with a little bounce and then settles like this. And there you go. And then I also have another variation of it, uh, which is pretty much the same thing, but uh, perhaps a little simpler and it's uh, done in a square format. Now, both of these shots are using our animated mockups from mockups360.com. But if you want to save yourself 10 bucks, you can actually use any product image here instead. And I'll show you how to do that towards uh, the end of this video. Um, now I'm not going to animate this whole shot from start to finish as that would make it a pretty long tutorial. And so instead I'm going to focus on adding this uh, 3D mockup into our scene. And then if you want to see how these two scenes are built, then you can simply download this project file from our free download section. And I'll include a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. All right, so let's jump right into this and uh, I'll show you how we add this guy into our scene. So I have a comp prepared over here. And if I preview it, we have all of the elements here, minus the 3D jar. Now to add the jar, I go over here where I've already imported my jar mockup. And I'm going to go into this comp over here called uh, product comps for use without uh, video templates, as I want to use this mockup in a new project. And then I grab the floating jar as well as its shadow. So these two guys over here, I copy them and then I paste them over here. And now we have this error saying we're missing a camera. So I add a new camera. Now let's drop these guys uh, over here. I reposition my jar to the center of the scene. Let's rescale it so it's a little smaller to maybe uh, 65. Move its shadow over here and we can start animating this guy. So first I want to turn off its rotation. So I delete any keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch and then set this to zero and zero. And now the jar is facing the camera. So let's start by animating its scale. I add my first keyframe around here. And then here, as the other elements disappear, I set it to zero. And there, that's perfect. Then I create a, another keyframe over here. And then here I want to create a bounce. So let's set it to say 70. Let's ease, ease it, and then ease in this guy. And then also let me tighten up this curve a little bit. Okay, so let's see how this plays. All right, and that looks pretty close. So let me just tweak this a little more. All right, and that's our product in the shot. And as you can see, it pops in really nicely, um, but without the rotation, it, it kind of looks a little dead. So let's give it some rotation. I go to its effects tab, add a keyframe here where I want it to be facing the camera. And then over here, I'll rotate it to minus one. And if I sculpture it, uh, yeah, that's looking right. Next, I'm going to ease this guy. 
and soften it curves so that it slows down really smoothly. And then as it comes to its stop, one more thing I want to do is add another keyframe over here um, so that it continues rotating. And then we need to zoom in here and bring this guy up so that after it slows down, it doesn't stop completely. But instead, we have a nice transition into, into this uh, constant rotation. Uh, okay, so if we preview this now, and we have our product fully animated, just as I showed earlier in my demo. And you can see just how much realism that rotation adds uh, to our shot. Now, as I mentioned, you don't have to use our 3D mockups here, um, as you can use just a plain product image. So let me show you how that works. Over here, I have some random image of a jar that I downloaded from Google. So let me just show you how I add it into our scene. I drag it over here into a new comp. I scale it down a bit. Okay, now I drop it over our mockup and replace it. All right, so I see what's happening here. Uh, our mockup had some time remapping, so let's just turn that off. And there it is. Okay, now let's just go into its comp and I'm gonna cut this guy out from its background. I grab a pen tool and quickly draw a mask around it. And there you go. That's our jar photo added to our scene. And now I can also enable our highlight layer. And I select my cream jar layer in this dropdown. And we have a highlight running across our product. So let's just see this. Now, not as cool as when the mockup was rotating, but that's still something very usable if you want to do this on the cheap. All right, and I think that covers our demo. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to play around with this scene and let me know if you have any notes or feedback.